Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. Today's date is 7 10 2020, and today we have for you guys today's discussion video. Now, as a reminder, I do giveaways every single Friday, and today is finally Friday, so I'll be picking three of you guys to win a skin from the Fortnite item shop. So for a chance to win that, like today's video, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below with your Epic Games name and our display name. I wish you guys all the best of luck, and let's just hop directly into today's Fortnite discussion video. So today's topic, Epic Games has now received $250 million from Sony. So Slasher had this to say over on Twitter. Epic Games has now received a $250 million investment from Sony that gives the company a minority stake, will aim for a broader collaboration between both companies, will not impact releasing games on other platforms, Fortnite will never die. Alright, so the last sentence got me, so yeah, very excited about that one and very happy to hear that a very well-known reporter is now saying that Fortnite will never die, because quite frankly, I do believe the exact same thing. This game could evolve every single week. I mean, think about all the collaborations they have done in the past, this brand new chapter is a whole new map, and so on and so forth. The game is going to ever change for the rest of our lives probably, I mean, it's pretty crazy to think about. Now to give you guys a bit more information about this, coming directly from Daniel Amin, he said this. Just to put this into perspective, when Tencent invested $330 million into Epic Games back in 2012, that got them a 40% stake with Epic Games valued at $825 million. Sony's $250 million investment today gives them a 1.5% stake in Epic Games worth a value of $17 billion. Holy freaking crap. 17 billion dollars that's absolutely crazy i did not know that epic games is worth this much money and yeah so considering that it's only 1.5 percent and epic is valued at 17 billion dollars that's freaking insane to give you guys some more info about this he also said this venture beat just published an update which provides more accurate numbers update sony is acquiring 1.4 percent stake in epic games which means the deal values Epic Games at $17.86 billion. Holy crap, man. So, Fortnite and Epic Games are now worth $17.86 billion. Very close to the $18 billion mark. And crazy enough, inside the official article, it also says this. In April alone, thanks to the pandemic, Fortnite revenue was over $400 million. In April, players spent 3.2 billion hours in Battle Royale shooter, sources said. In 2018, Epic Games did better than it did in 2019. Revenue in 2018 was $5.6 billion, with EBITDA of $2.9 billion, sources said. Epic used a lot of that money to invest in its Epic Games store, expanding its staff for Fortnite and Unreal Engine, and some acquisitions. Alright, so overall, pretty crazy stuff right there. Honestly, did not realize that Epic Games is worth this much money, and also did not realize that such a small stake would actually have such a massive impact on the Fortnite universe and the Fortnite community in general. So to dumb it down, how will it impact Fortnite? Well, it's actually extremely good, considering that PS5 is now right around the corner. And crazy enough, today, uh, they also just announced that there's a sneak peek of the PS5 games and what they're going to look like. So Sony had this to say, A sneak peek at the PS5 games will look like when you see them on store shelves starting this holiday. So coincidentally enough, they were also tweeting about PS5 today, which makes me think that with the latest collaboration between Epic Games and Sony that there's probably going to be a PS5 themed Fortnite console. And not only that, I do believe there's probably going to be a lot more collaborations with Sony and Fortnite coming up relatively soon. And we could actually be seeing also some more Twitch Prime. All this stuff honestly kind of makes sense because uh, with this massive stake and with Sony investing so much money into Fortnite, that would actually probably make uh, Twitch and as well as Amazon Prime want to do more collaborations with Fortnite as well, as well as many other companies. I mean, think of it as this way, if another company sees that Sony is investing so much money, they're also going to feel confident enough to invest the exact same amount of money or much less than that. But the point is, everyone's going to be like, okay, this is a great idea, let's invest more money and let's bring out finally some more Twitch Prime and of course a lot more collaborations with Fortnite. So what this also means is we should be seeing a lot more PS Plus collaborations as well as PS Plus free rewards. The last time we seen one was actually quite some time now, and this was the last reward in the background video. So that was the last time we seen this, as well as the last time we seen Twitch Prime was also this in the background video. So both of these, especially of course the PS Plus bundles, definitely have a massive chance of now returning at some point, and we could also be seeing a lot more PlayStation only collaborations as well as bundles and free rewards. 
All right, so pause. As I was making today's video, it looks like tonight at 2.28 a.m., uh, Epic Games and Fortnite, and especially Sony, have now released the new PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack. So Hypeback just said this, new free PlayStation Pack will be available for everyone in the next 24 hours. Introducing Emote, Stratosphere Glider, Down Arrow Contrail. And this is what the Introducing Emote looks like. And of course, the glider and the control are self-explanatory, but those are all free within the next 24 hours via the link in the description down below. But let's get back to today's Fortnite video. And P.S. Pretty crazy how I was making a video about Sony and uh, they should release more packs and actually just released another one. So pretty awesome stuff right there and a cool coincidence. So this $250 million investment is actually quite big for the future of Fortnite and in return it will actually give us a lot more content for news channels and overall just a lot of free rewards for the Fortnite community and the Fortnite players. Now lastly, it's quite unfortunate that Xbox has still not invested in Fortnite just yet or Epic Games or even had exclusive for Xbox only just yet, but maybe Microsoft in the future will finally come out and say, here is a collaboration between me and Fortnite, and finally, here is an Xbox only exclusive skin. But I'm not gonna hold my breath on that particular topic, as of course, Xbox seems to be kind of distant with Epic Games and Fortnite, and kind of with their player base in general. Now, unfortunately, guys, that's all I have for you guys for this particular video. I just want to update you guys and let you guys know what's going on, as well as what the possibilities of this collaboration have in store for the future of Fortnite. Now, like always, I try to post every single day, multiple times a day. So if you guys appreciate that, make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with the bell notification on, as well as liking today's Fortnite video. Also, to support me in the Fortnite item shop with the brand new bundles out, please use code Mars to cop these bundles, as well as any other skin in the Fortnite item shop. As always, thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos. And as always, stay happy and have a great day.